Every year at Toronto's Sick Children's Hospital, they see many young cancer patients, 10-year-old Olivia Santorelli among them. Monitoring pain is especially difficult for kids, but crucial for treatment. So instead of a written pain diary, the usual approach, Olivia gets to use her iPhone. Amazing work, Sarge. The Pain Squad app uses smartphone technology and actors from Canada's top police shows to enlist young patients and encourage them to track their pain. Instead of thinking, oh, how do I feel? Where is it? The answers are right there. You just have to tap it. Hey, rookie. Welcome to Pain Squad. It's really great you're here. We need all the help we can get to help put pain in its place. Patients like Olivia start as rookie members of Pain Squad and file pain reports every day. They work their way up a promotions ladder with plenty of encouragement. You are now officially a full-fledged detective in Pain Squad. Well done. The first tests are over and Pain Squad will now be used at dozens of hospitals across Canada and the U.S., helping thousands of families cope with childhood cancer. The app is an excellent tool. That's her control uh, over the pain because she's able to document it herself, but she's using an app. She just glides right through it and it makes her feel that she's a part of this. Just got the word from Chief. Turns out you've been doing so great, he feels like you're ready to move up. You're well and on now your way there's to talk pain of a pain monitoring course. app for Stop adults now. that could be developed in future in the under-assessment um, and management of pain, not only in children, but in adults too. So if this technology could be used to help us better understand pain, both in children and adults, it would be greatly beneficial. It's going to take a somewhat different approach to produce a grown-up version of the Pain Squad app. But there's no doubt that popular consumer technologies are now emerging as effective tools in the fight against cancer at any age. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.